Hey, Doug out here with another trail camera tip. I'm out here and I'm excited today because today I got my first set of cubs of the year uh, starting to cover this area. I'm hoping to get them going across this log I have on the ground. Uh, I'm so I'm going to remount this trail camera. This is a solar powered trail camera. Um, and it, got, it has great audio, great video, so I'm hoping to catch those cubs using this camera. And because it, I am in a bear area, I'm worried about bears coming along and crunching this camera and destroying it by just you know grabbing the solar panel. So let me show you what I did. This is your trail camera tip. Modify a box. And the box I found what fits these little new solar powered cameras is a, uh, and I got these off eBay, is these uh, Primos Alter trail camera boxes. And look at that. It fits great where Cut the top off and look at that. Just fits in there just nice and snug. But I still got to worry about what the bear come along and crunching that, even though I protected the body pretty good. And the way I'm going to do that is I got a little bracket, just a little L shaped bracket. And you can buy this little metal material off Amazon. It's to prevent uh, squirrels from going up your feeder or off the tree. And it's actually metal. Now I've already had this camera mounted here today, and I had a bear come up on this solar panel camera and he kept just touching that you could hear that little twang when he hit, it, hit his nose on it so he quit messing with it um, and what this does uh, I'll mount this just like that on front so it's I still get the Sun where it comes over the top but I usually don't have a problem with bears now uh, coming over the top because this thing uh, has prevented them from doing that uh, one other tip I want to share with you now I'm gonna put a nice lock on here of course but I'm also gonna do this to enhance the security, anybody can might have a key to some of these locks or, or they're easy to cut. I'm going to make it even more difficult for them. And another security measure I'm using today is this threaded rod with tri groove little nuts and bolts on the end. Okay, you see that? And these take a special socket. I ordered these socket years ago and I've never lost a camera since I've been using these. So uh, I drill some holes through the uh, box here and it goes, uh, you know, where the cable or a strap usually goes through the back of your uh, trail camera uh, this in this case it's going to be for a cable I'm going to run this threaded rod through then I'm going to put those tri-groove bolts and I'm going to tighten them up on both ends like I said special socket to get them off uh, those sockets cost like 45 to 55 dollars and you can get those also on Amazon uh, so I'm going to have a double security measure when it comes to locking this box camera in the box but I'm also going to have then my bear proof so far bear proof never underestimate a bear uh, and that's what we're doing today so I hope that's a good trail camera tip modify your boxes for solar panels to protect them uh, use a threaded rod to lock them up even more secure and then go ahead if you are, are in a barrier like I am quite a bit here in Washington State uh, this material is great. It has, so far has been very good with my cameras protecting them and I've never lost a camera since I've been putting these brackets on some of my trail camera boxes that have solar power. Okay, let's get working. This is going to take a little bit and I got some other trail cameras down here. I want to check to see if I got those cubs on. All right, let's get busy. Hope that hope helps you all. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, before we go though, I wanted to show you uh, some close-ups so you kind of get an idea a little more how to build this box. Let's start with the box itself. Um, you're going to want to leave a half inch at least uh, back part a little going this way before you cut it off. Um, and the reason that is, is on the back of these cameras, you see this little groove right here? You you're going to be able to slide that in and it goes right up against there and look how nice that fits. And you won't even be able to pull that up because of the way that is. Uh, I mean, it just fits. It's a perfect little groove, and then it, uh, because of this, it, you're, you know, you're pulling the whole back of the camera up. And what I did is, after I cut it, I filed it down, I painted it, and then I even threw a piece of tape here to make it a little more gentler on the back of the camera here, and also a little more quieter. So that fits in just like that. And then once again, I'm, I told you I'm going to enhance that by putting a threaded rod right through where the cable 
uh, hole is on the back of the camera. And that's those tri-groove security nuts. And he, here's the actual sockets. And you see, I've act, here's another tip. You see the fluorescent pink. If I ever drop a $45 socket, I certainly want to be able to find it and not have to order it again. So I do a little fluorescent tape. And that's how I uh, do it. And it really fits into these trail, new little trail solar panel cameras really fit into your trail cameras really nice. And look at that. Uh, now, when do I put on this bear proofing bracket to make sure I don't have a bear come along and, you know, grab my panel and just bite down on it? I do that right before I mount it to the tree. And I transport this in a separate container what's very solid so it doesn't you know poke through and I'm gonna be honest you're probably gonna get be put like me be poked many times and that's just the price I pay for keeping my camera safe um, I assembled this uh, just with some nuts and bolts and uh, cut a piece of it and then spray painted it and you wanna when you do mount this you wanna mount it so there's enough room so you can slide your camera once the bracket is on up into the box and that should be good enough. Okay, if there's no more questions I can think of answering, I, you, I think you might have. Let's go look at that video, actually. Oh, here, one more thing. Uh, carry some extra one of these wing nuts, and that's what I used to mount this bracket with. And I'm saying that because it, I guarantee when you're in a rush and you're looking around and you're, uh, there's always a good chance you might drop one of these. Uh, so always carry extra little hardware when you're in the field uh, like I do. Uh, that way if you ever do drop something you can't find it, you can still go ahead and assemble the camera up to your specific needs you want to have out there. Okay, so no more questions. Let's go ahead and take a look at that video of an actual bear coming up to one of my cameras with this uh, bracket mounted on there. Alright folks, have a good night. Thanks for watching everyone. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. I will also be posting some more tip videos soon. And a special thanks to this good looking guy. Yep, you are a good looking guy. And we'll most likely see you like later. And when I say I'll see him later, I mean I'll see him later because I have a bunch of cameras mounted in this area because it's bear mating season. How many? Well, follow along. Let's take a look.